1914, opera Madeline premieres in New York City. In 1953, this song is at number one. It's Eddie Fisher. It's called Outside of Heaven. In 1962, The Twist craze peaks with a re-released version of this song, The Twist by Chubby Checker. In 1969, Jethro Tull plays the first American show opening for Blood, Sweat, and Tears. In 1973, Donny Osmond's album Too Young is certified gold. 1976, number one is Diana Ross, the theme from Mahogany, Do You Know Where You're Going To? In 1976, Bob Dylan starts a five-week run at number one with this song. It is The Hurricane, which protests the conviction of former middleweight boxer Reuben Hurricane Carter. In 1982, the Super Bowl is held in Pontiac, Michigan. The halftime show is a salute to Motown. Diana Ross sings the national anthem. In 1998, the Titanic soundtrack goes to number one in America, replacing Celine Dion's Let's Talk About Love. In 1998, Oasis goes to number one on the UK singles chart with All Around the World. In 1999, this song hits number one. It's The Offspring and Pretty Fly for a White Guy. 2000, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young opened the first tour of the full quartet in 25 years in Detroit, Michigan. In 2005, the second Britney Spears album, Oops, I Did It Again, is certified diamond, making her the only female artist to reach this milestone with her first two albums. In 2018, Elton John announces his retirement from touring, ending with a three-year farewell Yellow Brick Road tour.